Your morning news now. More economic relief is on its way for small businesses after the Senate passed a nearly $500 billion aid package last night. The House is expected to vote on that package later this week. And the relief cannot come soon enough as some states are giving the green light to reopen businesses as early as this Friday. Trust us. The worst is yet ahead of us. The head of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is expecting a second wave of COVID-19 cases next winter, and he believes it will be even deadlier as it coincides with the start of the flu season. The announcement also comes with news that reopening the country may not last more than a few months. Well, we've got a mostly cloudy sky, a few sprinkles in the La Crosse area and looking at radar. Uh, a lot of this not reaching the ground, even some isolated thunderstorms over uh, portions of Iowa. But locally, just some very light rain showers or sprinkles uh, over the next couple of hours. Much of the day will be dry. Could see some more storms later today, especially south. Here's a look at the latest numbers of COVID-19 being reported in Wisconsin. There are 4,600 positive cases, according to Johns Hopkins University in Wisconsin. At least 244 have died. Once again, no new cases are being reported in La Crosse County, and 25 of the 26 cases have recovered. New this morning, Wisconsin health officials say they may have identified at least seven people who contracted the coronavirus from participating in the April 7th election. The conditions of the seven all in Milwaukee weren't immediately available. The city's health commissioner says six are voters. One is a poll worker. Minnesota is reporting more than 2,500 people infected with coronavirus and at least 160 deaths. No new cases are being reported in Winona County. In Iowa, there are 44 in Alamakee County and seven in Winnesheek. The entire state now has more than 3,600 people who've tested positive. 83 have died. The Wisconsin legislature is seeking a lawsuit against Governor Tony Evers' extension of the Safer at Home order. Republicans who control the Wisconsin legislature asked the state Supreme Court to block the extension. The lawsuit was expected after Evers' health secretary last week ordered non-essential businesses to remain closed until May 26th. The original stay-at-home order had been scheduled to end this Friday. After five years of representing the Wisconsin State Democratic Party, Jennifer Schilling is ending her term as Senate Democratic leader. The news comes after Schilling announced she would not be running for re-election for the 32nd district seat. She's finishing her third term representing La Crosse and her five years at the position makes her the longest serving female party leader in state history. 15th District Supervisor Monica Cruz is officially named the new La Crosse County Chair. Cruz is replacing longtime board chairwoman Tara Johnson, who decided not to run again. In addition to Cruz, 10th District Supervisor Kim Cable was elected the first vice chairwoman, while Andrea Richmond from District 1 was elected as the second vice chair. The latest event to be canceled in our area due to COVID-19 precautions is the Big Blue Dragon Boat Festival. The annual event supports Mayo Clinic Health System's Center for Breast Care and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater La Crosse. The festival committee is already beginning to refund team registration fees. We are encouraging all of our students to come to the food pantry and uh, not only the students on campus, but the off-campus students as well. You have a chance to help feed UW La Crosse students, faculty, and staff today. The Campus Food Pantry is hosting a food drive until tomorrow this week and Tuesday through Thursday next week. Staff will be in the Whitney Center parking lot on campus from noon until 5 p.m. Non-perishable goods and money will be accepted during the drive and more information is available on the UW La Crosse website. As healthcare workers continue to work long hours, one local business is hoping to swap scrubs for wedding gowns, the Wedding Tree is launching a hometown hero giveaway to help area healthcare workers. Wedding dresses up to $2,000 in value will be donated to a few hometown heroes nominated by the public. And if you are interested, you can nominate someone on the Wedding Tree's website until April 30th. Well, current temperatures in the 30s to the north and east, most of us in the lower to middle 40s. We'll see highs today in the 60s, but cooler to the north and east, warmer to the south and west. Could see some isolated thunder showers later today with the best chances south. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us and hope that you have a great day. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning.